everybody, welcome to the Law Doc Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is a back to school haul. Today's back to school haul is Mindwear, which is a company from Oriental Trading, in case you were looking for it. Now, before you watch this haul, if you have not watched our back to school plan with me video, you might want to do that first right here. In that video, I go over how I pick our goals for our homeschool year, what our goals for this homeschool year are, and that greatly influences what I purchase for our school year because I try to buy specifically for what our goals are for the school year. So without further ado, let me go ahead and show you what I purchased from Mindware for our fifth grade homeschool year. The first thing that I grabbed were some logic things. Mindware is amazing for logic and critical thinking, and that is our one thing for this school year. So I got these logic links. These are a single player game. They give you clues and you have to figure out which link goes where, like little, this little tiny dot. Um, and there's 166 different puzzles, so I knew that that would last us most of the year. I also picked up this Smart Sparks puzzles, and this is specific for fifth grade. They did have other grades as well, but I thought, how cool is it that it's basically logic and critical thinking specific to fifth grade? So it says logic and reasoning, literacy, math, spatial reasoning, and writing is all included in these brain puzzles. Um, and I haven't opened it yet, but it looks like it has all of the manipulatives and everything you would need. It does. So <clears throat> like all of the little manipulatives are included in it with the question cards, and there's even a little dry erase marker and dry erase board for you to figure some of it out. So that is like a really cool little kit, and it all stays in this little box so we can take it with us and car school with it if we wanted to. Um, I also picked up a Perplexers. We've done mind benders before, we've never done Perplexers before, so I just grabbed the level A to see where she's at. It says level A is grades four to five anyway, um, so we'll see because level B is also five to six. So if she flies through this, I'll get level B. And if it takes us more than the year, that's fine with me too. I just thought it was kind of cool because there's all these different topics and it gives you like the story and the clues and then you have to figure it out. They're logic puzzles for a sharper mind. That's what they call those. Um, and then another game that I got for us to play for logic and critical thinking that is up to four players is Cubits. Now you can also play this, it says two to four players, but you can play it single player too. Um, I've seen a variation for it, but it is just kind of a visual dexterity type of thing. So I thought that would be a lot of fun. And there's not as many logic and critical thinking um, type of things that are multiple players. So I definitely tried to pick up as many of those as I could find. Um, I also grabbed, just for some math practice, this multiplication and division designs. There are mosaics. So you answer the um, division or the multiplication problem, and then you color in the coordinate grid. And coordinate grid and plots are something that I wanted to work on um, as kind of a little bit of a review from last year. So I thought this would be like two birds, one stone, you know. We'll be working on that and sneaking that in as she's practicing multiplication and division. And then this was a bundle that I purchased. Um, it was cheaper to get the bundle than it was to just get these two books. So these two books are extreme dot to dots um, around the USA and around the world. <clears throat> and when I say extreme, I mean these go up to like the five and 600 numbers, maybe even higher than that. So I mean, they're definitely extreme, definitely more for um, advanced. Some are even over 1400 or yeah, 1400 dots. There's puzzles that high. And then, like I said, it was just cheaper to get the bundle that had the two books and a thing of fine line marker so that just came with it so that was an extra bonus and then we love trivia games in this house like we thrive on trivia games so I just bought these because of that <laughs> we have the animal trivia challenge um, this looks like a lot of fun it's eight plus two to four players over 400 trivia questions with two levels of difficulties so it kind of reminds me of professor noggins because it has like two levels of difficulties but I also just really, really love that we can play games like this and then who knows what kind of rabbit trails we're gonna end up down. So along those same lines, we have the Geography Trivia Challenge. Same thing, over 400 trivia questions with two levels of difficulties. And then, of course, I couldn't pass up the Science Trivia Challenge. Same thing, 400 trivia questions with two levels of difficulties. So I just thought that even though I don't make goals for 
um, geography, science, and history per se, that these would be really great additions to our homeschool year. They would be fun for us as a family, great for game schooling, and then who knows where it might lead when we play these games. So that is it for the Mindware haul. That's everything that we purchased for our homeschool fifth grade year. Don't forget to come back and see what else we have purchased for our homeschool in this back to school haul week.